सो हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ए कंपाइलर डिजाइन दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू गार्बेज कलेक्शन सो वेन एवर वी हर्ड अबाउट और लर्न अबाउट दी गार्बेज दिस थिंग्स वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन और ऑलरेडी लर्न इन सेकेंड ईयर एंड थर्ड ईयर ऑल्सो दैट इज रिलेटेड टू दी गार्बेज वैल्यूज सो गार्बेज मीन्स वॉट इन फ्यूचर वी डजेंट हैव एनी रिफरेंस for that values the data that cannot be referenced in generally known as garbage exactly that values the database which doesn't have any meaning or any values in reference many high level programming languages remove the burden of manual memory management from the programmer by offering automatic garbage collection which deallocate unreachable data the garbage collection dates back to the initial implementation uh, which is by in lisp language that is in 1958 uh, in 1958 the lisp language uh, at the time the garbage collection concept was uh, evolved the other significant languages that are offer garbage collection in include java perl ml modula 3 prolog small tag and so many more the design goal for garbage collectors the garbage collection it is the reclamation of chunks of storage holding object that that can no longer be accessed by a program we need to assume that the object which have a type that can be determined by the garbage collector which is at the run time from the type of a information we can tell how large the object is and which component of the object contain the reference pointer to the of the other object we also assume that the reference to the object which are always to the address of the beginning of the object never pointer to place within the object so these are the things uh, that's why we are moving toward the garbage collector so memory occupation is m- more and more and the compiler and operating system working behind to free up that free free up that allocated memory so garbage collection plays very very important role for the same in next lecture we will discuss reachability okay thank you